what's up ladies and gentlemen all right so the whole rpm filters thing i will well scratch that i went ahead and download the new latest version of beta flight 4.3 and i used the preset this preset right here that i'm showing you on the screen and um we're gonna try that out instead the last time i uh, installed 4.3 i had bad jitters in my motors so I haven't done anything else other than um, I did change my rates. Everything else is according to this preset, so let's see what happens. This is the first flight. I'm just in my yard. We're going to see how she runs. All right, here we go. Activated. All right. Turn me on. We've powered up, and nothing has gone wrong. Hover. Feels good. Feels great. I gotta check motors. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let me check motors. Feels really good. Really freaking good. Motors. A warm. Oof. I think they're okay. Let's give it one more flight around. I think they're fine. I just want to confirm that it felt as good as I think it felt. You turn me on. All right, feels great. Motors are pretty warm, but I think it's it's bearable. I think it's okay. All right, um, we're gonna. This is just the first test flight. I'm gonna make sure the motors could withstand anything more. All right, what's up, guys? Uh, Triple Cap here again. We just did a little test flight, and the motors were a little warm, but they weren't too warm to where you can't touch them. So I think they're gonna be okay. Plus, again, it's another really hot day. But as I mentioned, I went ahead after all this working with 4.2 and RPM filters and getting the little jitters I was getting or the little um, oscillations that I was getting especially through prop wash um, I decided to just let's start over let's scratch it all Betaflight 4.3 just got released officially let's install that and put all default on there throw a throw a preset on there that's what I did and um, I'll show you here this is what my this is the preset I use it's the Superfly FPV freestyle 5 inch this is it right here. It's RPM filter. That you have the options here for RPM filtering or without RPM filtering, 4S or 6S, HD cam, no HD cam. So you just basically select those, pick it, and then save and reboot, and it adds applies these settings to it. And if you want to see the CLI stuff, um, here it is. Uh, PID values, which I'm going to show you my PIDs too. So, but I did adjust my rates because I like 600 degrees of rotation here. So I just made sure that was on there. I threw a little bit of expo on it. And um, obviously I set up my modes and stuff. But um, other than that, everything is pretty much default. Um, but yeah, this is what my settings look like. It's all based basically the same. Everything is from that preset. My first impression after flying just now, I think it's nice. I'm a little worried about the motors. That's why I'm in here. I'm debating whether I want to move that 
multiplier up or down and I, I think I'm gonna leave it alone honestly because it flew really well and the motors weren't too hot to touch I could hold on to them they're just right on I think they're right on the edge there but um, I think for right now we're gonna leave them alone but I did want to come in here and show you my setup by the way if you haven't checked this new beta flight out it's freaking amazing my favorite part so far has been reordering the motors that is a time-saving feature that is a long time coming oh that's another thing I did this was on 600 I put it on 300 because it was recommended at some point somewhere I don't know where another thing I did by default my stuff that my PID loop is on 8k and it, it's recommended to run it on 4k with five with five inch f4 processors I can't change my gyro update frequency don't know why exactly but I can't change that um, but I did change the PID loop frequency to 4K. I think I'm going to leave the tune just like it is right now. That way we can get a nice test. I'm going to take it out to the field and give it a few rips, and um, we'll see how she does. The last time I installed 4.3, it was really bad. It didn't fly good at all. It was very jittery. It was vib so many vibrations. I don't know what was wrong, but it did not work very well on my quad. This one feels 10 times better, or maybe 20 times even. I think I'll probably get it set up on my, my Cinewhoop next, because my Cinewhoop flies like crap. But anyways, um, yeah, let's get out to the field. See you in a few. All right, we're walking out to the field. See how this thing does. Tell you what, definitely another scorcher. It is hot, so we're gonna make this quick. We got some thunder in the background too, off in the distance. So, yeah, we're gonna make this quick. All right, let's let's go. <laughs> First impression, or actually kind of second impression. Freaking smooth as hell. Better than it's flown in a long time. Oh yeah, that was the right switch. Little bobble there, not too bad. Considering the aggressive action, it's not to be unexpected. Two minutes. Can I fly through there? Yeah, I can. How about that? It's good to know. Battery. Oh, yeah, that was the right switch. Feels good. Feels really good. Other than the fact that the sun is beating beating down on me at about thousand degrees. One minute. Oh yeah, that was the right switch. Right, let's bring it in and check these hot motors out. Let's see what we got. I'm going to leave my goggles on so the fan can run. They're warm as hell. But I can leave my hand on them, but it's barely. I can barely withstand the heat. And I've got pretty tough hands, so... I think they're okay, though. Alright, we're going to pop on another pack and give it another go. <laughs>
Yeah, I think we're gonna get out of here before we get wet. Motors are right there on that border, and I think I'm okay with that. I think the tune feels amazing. I think 4.3 is awesome, and I feel good about this. We're gonna get out of this heat. Appreciate you watching. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.